What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Raging Nation show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things that matter to me in the world of upcoming films. In this episode, let's talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. I'm sure by now you guys have seen the teaser trailer that they put out. It was pretty cool because they showed us a lot of new things. For example, the fact that Bebop and Rocksteady are going to be in it. Baxter Stockman is also going to be in it. And also, Casey Jones along with possibly the Technodrone. I'm just thinking that the Technodrone's in there, mainly because at the beginning of the teaser trailer, you see these parts, these weird parts. They're not spaceships. I thought they were alien spaceships, but they're like these parts, and they look like they could form into the Technodrone. I'm just thinking. And you know what? I don't think I'm too far off with this theory, because what else could it be? I mean, it's coming from Dimension X. Well, I think uh, we're just about to get that confirmation. Well, Michael Bay did an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, and he talked about his latest film, 13 Hours. He talked about Transformers 5 uh, and the fact that he is, in fact, going to be directing it. But he also talked about what we could expect to see in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows because they're doing uh, post-production work for it, which includes visual effects work. And he talked to the guys at ILM, and I'm going to read you this quote taken from the, uh, from the interview. And this is the interviewer talking about uh, what he saw. They start with Ninja Turtles animation Pablo Hellman, a visual effects supervisor who worked on Star Wars prequels, appears on screen and shows Bay the latest version of Krang, a new-to-the-movies villain who is essentially a disembodied brain inside a giant robot. So we've eliminated the tentacles, Hellman explains. Is it too monstrous? He could have some tentacles, says Bay. I just don't want them coming out of the side. He looks like a stupid octopus. They show him a clip of two other new characters, a mutant warthog and a mutant rhinoceros named Bebop and Rocksteady. You just gotta adjust that mask, Bay says. That mask is not too good yet. He watches a few more times. Is our rhino dude's head big enough, do you think? We could make it bigger, Hellman says. The ILM guys write it down. So, what we gather from this is that they are still working on the visual effects over at uh, ILM, of course but also that Krang is confirmed to be in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, and Bay doesn't like the fact that his tentacles uh, could be hanging off to the side. He doesn't want that, even though Krang's tentacles did kind of hang off to the side a little bit. I mean, those were his tendril arms. I mean, those were his limbs to control his, um, his, uh, his, his, his body that he, he walks around with. Uh, but yeah, that is... That's a fact. Krang is going to be in it. Dimension X, I'm pretty sure, is going to be in it. And t the Technodrome, I'm pretty sure, is going to be in it. Now, let's take a look at some, uh, some concept art from uh, the... Um uh, for Krang, actually. There, there's some new concept art that appeared. Now, this is just concept art, and this could be what Krang could look like in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. So check this out. Now, if this is Krang in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, I'm pretty cool with that, all right? I think this looks cool. I think it's, a, it's an iteration of Krang. It might not be the iteration of Krang that we know and love and are used to, but things change, and I think this is, this is an updated version that I can deal with, all right? I can live with that, all right? That's pretty cool. Now here is Krang without the body, and he's this scary looking uh, thing uh, on this pod with legs, like spider legs. And this is pretty freakish looking, but this is essentially what Krang would look like in the live action universe. And look at Krang himself, he looks like this brain thing, which he's supposed to look like. So this concept art is cool in my books. I'm happy with that. Now. What's really, really um, interesting is the fact that Playmates, the toy company that produces the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, toys since the beginning, uh, well, they have shown a promotional photo for their upcoming toys. And it shows what the characters are going to look like in the movie. So let's check this out. Here is the, uh, the, the basic lineup. 
We got Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Michelangelo. They just like they just they look like the way they do in the movies. And then you have like different versions of Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Casey. Uh, and and, and uh, well, just those three. Uh, there's a Leonardo stealth stealth disguise, pirate costume, Michelangelo, and wingsuit. Raphael. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to appear like this in the movie. A lot of uh, uh, um, a lot of movies and their toys end up having deluxe versions because it's all about merchandising. All right, they they want to make more versions so people will buy them all. Like kids will buy one when they convince their parents to buy them all, and it, and and at the end make more money. All right. Then later on, we see Casey Jones, which is a pretty pretty basic version. We see the Shredder, the Foot Soldier, Bebop, and Rocksteady, which are pretty. Uh, pretty standard and then now here is Krang take a good look at Krang and he looks exactly well kind of like the way he would or rather the way he does in uh, the cartoons I mean the cartoons look like this but this isn't that bad this isn't that far off if he really really does look like this but he definitely doesn't look like the way he does in that concept art. That concept art maybe is a little bit too scary looking for kids. Uh, so uh, we're getting a more uh, cartoony version, which is totally fine because that's quite true to the uh, to the the original source material. So if that's Krang, then I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, what else we got? We have um, uh, oh, we have vehicles: Street Speeder, Leonardo, Raging Racer, Raphael. And this could be because there is a chase sequence involving um, uh, Bebop and Rocksteady on their, their their motorcycles. So that's why there's the vehicles for Warthog, Trike, and also Rhino Chopper for Rocksteady. All right? And because you've seen in the trailer that there is a scene where Casey Jones is chased by Re Bebop and Rocksteady in their vehicles. So to counter that, Leonardo and Raphael could possibly have their own motorcycles all right so pretty cool now finally the last thing i want to show you is this 60 centimeter wide technodrome so this toy doesn't necessarily mean that the technodrome is confirmed to appear but this is still an indication that it could appear i mean after all you have krang who's from dimension x you have the dimension x portal and then you have those technodrome parts coming out of the portal and i'm sure they're gonna uh, they're gonna form the technodrone if you look at those parts closely they look like pieces to a puzzle so they're gonna come together and they're gonna form the technodrone and there you have it so Krang is confirmed technodrone not 100% confirmed but I'm gonna say that it's a high possibility that it's gonna appear and I'm super excited I'm more excited about this one than I am about the pre than I was about the previous one mainly because first of all we're getting a new director I don't like Jonathan Liebesman's style of direction I don't, don't like his visual style okay we're getting David Green who directed Earth to Echo that's already in itself a good thing second we're getting characters that are classic classic characters from the cartoons uh, Bebop Rocksteady Krang Casey Jones um, and possibly we're going to bring in uh, the Dimension X and Technodrone. And I'm just, I'm just waiting for the announcement that Usagi Yojimbo is going to appear. That would be icing on the cake. If not this one, then maybe the next one. All right, so I'm super looking forward to this film. What do you guys think about any of the stuff that I talked about? What do you guys think about the look of Krang? What do you guys think about the Technodrone? Is it too early to bring in Krang and Dimension X? Maybe they should just focus on the two mutants, and that is, uh, um, you know, the mutant villains like Bebop and Rocksteady. Do you think it's character overkill? I think that this could work if handled properly. If they give the villains the right amount of screen time, then it could work. All right. So, anyways, looking forward to it, and that's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. And you know, and of course, there's Alicia Vikander. But uh, when those two talk, it is intense. All right, it, it is like they're getting.